we're going to continue um, using the calculator. You know now already how to find derivatives on the calculator at a given point, and you know how to evaluate definite integrals. So we're just going to practice some more of that, but specifically with these transcendental functions. So you can practice putting them into y1 and be you know very careful with how you do that. So the first one that we'll do is in y1 put e to the x cubed. You can see here that this is what it would look like in y1 and we're asked to find dy dx at x equal 2. So you put the parent function into y1. Now you're going to hit second and mode and it's going to take you to this screen. You're going to choose number 8. We want to take the derivative of whatever function that we entered and this will show up in the home screen. Uh, before you hit this you need to come out of the y equals screen because if you stay in the y equals screen then this will show up there. So you need to go back to the home screen and then hit math and choose number 8 and this is what shows up just like before when we did derivatives at a point and now you've got to fill all that information in remember we're uh, finding the derivative with respect to x you're going to put y1 in these parentheses that's the vars button the right arrow and hit enter twice enter chooses y1 and enter the second time puts it in that open box and then we're asked to evaluate that derivative at x equal 2. So once you get all that filled out correctly, hit enter, and there you have it. That is the value of the derivative of the function that you put in y1 at that x value. <clears throat> so let's do another example. Again, we want to find dy dx at x equal 2, and now we have a natural log function. So we want the natural log of the absolute value of 4 minus 2x. Remember, you can pull up absolute value by hitting second and find the commands uh, down there at the bottom. It'll be in blue above a number, and you can hit abs and then put in your 4 minus 2x. We want to go back to the home screen, pull up math, and choose number 8 and fill in all the empty information there and then hit enter and so the slope of the tangent line or the derivative at x equal 2 for this function is 0. So there's some more uh, examples here. Be very careful putting this function because of the division. Be careful putting it into y1. You want to put parentheses around everything. You can't use too many parentheses. So we have e to the x minus 2 Put parentheses around that, put your division line, and then the natural log of x to the one-third, and you want parentheses around all of that. It's going to force you to close all parentheses that you have, or it'll show you that there's an error. Go back to the home screen, choose math, number 8, and fill out all the information again, and there we have the derivative at x equal 2 for this function. So now let's practice on these transcendental functions evaluating a definite integral. Uh, so this is the exact area in between the graph of this function, e to the x cubed plus 5x squared minus 3x minus 5, uh, trapped in between that function and the horizontal axis. And so this is going to give us the exact area starting at x equal negative 1 and stopping at x equals 0. So just like for your derivatives, you're going to very carefully enter that function into y1. You're going to go back to the home screen, and then you're going to choose math and 9, because now you want the definite integral. That's what FNINT uh, stands for, remember? So this is what's going to show up in your home screen now. You can see that you have an integral sign, you have a lower limit box, an upper limit box, you have the function box, and then the with respect to box. So you're going to pull up, you can put in your limits uh, that are on your definite integral, put your little bouncing box there in the open parentheses, and just like you do for pulling up y1 uh, for the derivative, you're going to do the same keystrokes to pull up y1 for the definite integral. And once you fill in all the spaces, everything that it's asked for there, then you just hit enter. And this value is the accumulated area 
in between this function and the horizontal axis from x equal negative 1 to x equal 0. So there's the accumulated area. So of the four things that we're allowed to do uh, according to the college board using our calculator, one is to graph a function, one is to find the zeros of the function, the third one is to evaluate a derivative at a point, and the fourth here is to evaluate a definite integral. So we need to know how to do those things. So here's some more practice. Uh, we're going to integrate from 5 to 10, 2 thirds raised to the x squared. This is a exponential function with a numerical base and a variable exponent. So very carefully put that into y1. Go back to the home screen, hit math and 9, fill in all the information, and here is the accumulated area. Now this negative 6 says to take that decimal point 6 spaces to the left. So once we take it six spaces to the left, that is, in essence, zero. It's, uh, it's accurate to three decimal places. It's definitely going to have a value of zero. So let's do this one now. This is uh, one that we did before we found the derivative of it. So you've already entered this uh, at one point. So enter it again into y1. Go back to your home screen. Choose math 9. We want to find the area from x equal 7 to x equal 8. And that is right there once you hit the enter button. That's the exact area for that function over that x interval from 7 to 8. A couple of more examples for the definite integral. Um, again, be very careful entering these things. This is e to the 4x plus the secant squared of x. We don't have a secant button, but we do have a cosine button. So if you want to enter the secant squared, secant is 1 over cosine, so you're going to have to put 1 over cosine. And you want to make sure that you're squaring that whole expression. And all of that is up in the uh, function e to the u. So make sure that you stay inside the e function when you're entering that information. So it's good practice for trying to put in something that's a a little bit clunky into your calculator. This is equivalent to the secant squared of x. And we want to integrate that from 0 to pi over 4, and we get that amount right there. Uh, here's another one. We've entered this one before, another practice to uh, go down there and find the absolute value. And so we want the natural log of the absolute value of 4 minus 2x from 3 to 5. So that's what we get right there. And uh, there's the accumulated area in the plane uh, trapped in between this function, the horizontal axis, over the interval x equal 3 to x equal 5. So there we go. Just a lot of practice. Uh, come to class next time and we'll practice evaluating derivatives at certain x values and evaluating definite integrals on the calculator with different types of transcendental functions.